are your cows underperforming after calving? The problem might not be after birth, but before it. In this video, I will show you the two most important pre-calving practices, drying off and steaming up, that can make or break your next lactation. Miss this and you could be losing liters of milk every day. Welcome to Lumumba Junior, as I elaborate further. Welcome. Hello guys, welcome back to Lumumba Junior. Today I'm going now to take to talk about two topics at a go. I'm going to talk about uh, steaming up and drying your cow. Yeah, you know, once you do a proper steaming up and a, pop, a proper drying up, so that means uh, you'll achieve the the milk production that I'm talking about. Eh? How to achieve 40 liters and above in a in a in livestock eh? so achieving this uh, i'll have to show you an animal that has been introduced for drying here this animal yeah see this animal this animal we call this animal uh, rupee one of my clips you'll see this animal going to be milk but like uh, now it is afternoon here the other animals are being milk now but this animal won't be milk we are now they, they are doing what we call drying off so for drying drying is a process of uh, stopping milking to allow the other tissue to re regenerate before the next calving yeah? so this means that it is crucial for other health and future milk production yeah that there's some topic there, there's a question that usually people ask a lot of when, when should we dry off yeah? typically Drying off should be done 60 days before expecting calving. This ensures the cow is healthy and milk here uh, is below around 10 to 16 litres. You can ask, what if you want to dry a cow and uh, this cow produces a lot of milk at that time? I think we have an animal here that was producing a lot of milk before drying. Yeah, we have this animal here. It was producing a lot. This animal we call it Kamuwa. This animal, see the way Ada is it's almost deep, yeah? So for this animal, we did what we call a gradual reduce in milk to once a day for around a few days, then stop completely. So another thing that we did, yeah? we stopped uh, concentrate feeding to lower milk production. Yeah? To lower the milk production, then we ensured that uh, hygiene, proper hygiene by administering what we call uh, dry cow therapy this is used by the use of antibiotics and teat sealant if needed yeah? after putting the the like in kenya we have uh, what we call uh, bova clogs yeah? it is used for sealing those seeds and usually also it contains antibiotic inside to prevent this animal from uh, getting mastitis yeah? another thing that we have to monitor is about uh, we have to monitor for mastitis in the first three weeks after drying. So, sure that we, this animal does not get mastitis in that first week. Yeah? What you do, you put some uh, those uh, uh, bobber clothes, dry cow therapy for around uh, one week. After finishing one week, yeah, you come, remove the, actually you start like you are milking now. Yeah, When you are starting like milking, so that means any infected may be milk inside there you behave like you're milking then you clear the antibiotics from inside then you clear the teeth fully so that uh, you can remove uh, that milk that is inside there that maybe it can be somehow contaminated eh? by doing that eh, you will have uh, saved that animal from mastitis then you insert back you, you now do uh, another dry cow therapy by inserting the antibiotics i've just handled a topic of how to dry your cow off now we are now going to look at how to to steam up your cow what do i mean by steaming yeah like this animal you see the way it has been steamed very well let me show you another animal that has been steamed very well we really appreciate remember i talked about this venus huh? it is almost due but you can see ada showing from this uh, left side and the other side eh? let me just go near this animal told you this animal has a lot of complication it was knocked by another animal yeah it was knocked by another animal so you can see the way the back is uh, act but what can you see about the udder 
you can really appreciate this adder yeah this is what now we call steaming up yeah you can see this is what we call steaming up yeah even though even though this animal has a act back but you can see what i mean by proper steaming up and for today i have to tell you what is being done eh? i think i can stand next to this animal that uh, really appreciate it yeah? with this animal yeah this is a heifer i'm just going to near an heifer so that we can really appreciate the kind of steaming up is being done here and what uh, is being added to the diet so as you can see this is what we call steaming up this is an heifer but how can you appreciate this adder yeah? this is the adder so i was talking about steaming up steaming up refer to nutritional boost of a cow during the the last six to eight weeks pregnancy to prepare her for lactation yeah? then somebody can ask you what is the best time for steaming what i usually tell them it is from six ma six weeks before calving yeah where this is what we usually do for steaming and let's say for here what we do we increase concentrate feeding gradually especially in the last two weeks like this animal has just remained with uh, with uh, less than two weeks so so what do we put uh what do we give this animal one of it is because we do what we call we feed this animal with high quality roughage this is a uh, like hay or silage so we have now started increasing the concentrate and um, roughages then we ensure that it has enough calcium phosphorus vitamin a vitamin d and vitamin e and other trace i talked about uh, trace minerals for some times where i actually mentioned about zinc i mentioned about manganese i mentioned about copper i mentioned about cobalt all these of them are trace elements yeah that will be given in small portions yeah so that to have a nutritional benefit yeah so as we then another thing that we usually give them is to consider anonium salts to prevent milk fever especially for high risk cow then another thing is to maintain clean water and comfortable housing yeah? you can see this animal is very comfortable we have uh, our mattresses here remember this is cow mattresses they are sleeping on a cow mattress even though this one has defecated on its mattress you know maybe it 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 it, it entered here through the back now defecating at that point you can see there we have animal feces what we, we put in our concentrate that we call uh, steaming yeah? you know that fear that we call steaming yeah this is what we put eh? first of the thing that we have is the routine the dairy meal eh? so in that dairy meal eh, there are some things let me just stand in the shadow yeah there are some things that we put eh? one of it is a uh, advanced add a booster we put that in our concentrate you remember this is a bypass protein it goes directly to the adder so to boost the adder and the at least when it is regenerating so that it, they can be active enough another thing that we put is an advanced concentrator we have like a advanced uh, we call it a uh, from Coopers we have advanced, we call it not other booster, yeah? advanced concentrate, we have copper cooler, yeah we put some copper cooler, we integrate between copper cooler, then we put some other booster inside there, then the concentrate that we usually talk about with that, your adder will be, the way we saw those adders, very big enough, thumbs up, and that's what I can just say about rationing. You can just consult about the rationing and the entire thing so that you can achieve what I'm really telling you, yeah? Remember we have some other minerals is being poured there. With that, you know, like these animals, we, we expect eh, production to be around 30 to around 30 and above eh, for these heifers yeah i can show you like uh, i think in the milking we milked one of the heifer and you saw in the morning alone it was giving us around more than 13 liters eh? so that means if you get in the morning 13 liters in the afternoon 10 liters in the evening another 10 liters so that at the end of the day we'll be having 33 
liters from an heifer. The only the animal that has just have listened to and giving us more than 30 plus. That is really appreciated. Yeah? That is really appreciated. So I want to stress something giving something like a DCP to these kind of animals during uh, steaming up. Even though we require phosphorus and calcium to animals that uh, wants to give birth, eh? remember the same same minerals can uh, result to your animal remaining down because of this. Eh? Risk of milk fever. First giving it DCP has high calcium. Yeah? Remember in production, we, we actually don't require calcium. We need uh, phosphorus. Eh? So feeding high calcium just before calving tricks the cow bodies into thinking it does not need to mobilize this calcium from bones. When calving starts, the milk production kicks on. The sudden calcium demand can't be met quickly, leading to milk fever. Another thing it is uh, this DCP, it disrupts calcium regulation eh, in the body. In the last one to two weeks, the goal is to make the cow's body to start mobilizing internal calcium early. Feeding low calcium or um, uh, neotic diet helps activate parathyroid hormones, which is PTH, which controls calcium release from the bones. Another thing is better alternative for uh, actually omnotic salt or a low calcium diet, which helps to prime the cow system to respond faster when calcium demand spikes. Yeah? DCP can, used, can be used in early pregnancy, but should be stopped two to three weeks before calving. Yeah? So in summary, just to summarize everything, yeah? avoid summarize everything. Yeah? Avoid giving DCP in the final weeks to prevent milk fever and ensure a smooth start to lactation yeah so that's it i really appreciate for your time guys we have really learned a lot about steaming the animal doing a dry cow and the entire thing yeah? remember if you are new to this youtube channel subscribe to my youtube channel i go by the name lumumba junior thumbs up guys let's chill together Let's keep on learning. Animal lover himself. Thank you.